Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair. And this will also be about a lens because, um, yeah, I mean it's a really bad design on this lens, uh, but it has a loose back cover in this uh, Panasonic Lumix um, G G D G <laughs> Varius Sumilux. And it's a 1.7 uh, aperture and it's a 10 to 25 millimeter ASPH. And it's for the Micro Four Third, um, which you can see here is nice lens actually, not, not that very heavy. But it hasn't easy. I mean, it must be something that has uh, not been think about in the design of this lens because you can see well uh, there's something out of alignment here so if I move the zoom ring uh, this uh, mark here will not uh, line up okay it rotates yeah um, it's because I mean it's really bad I mean, if you think of this lens, is quite expensive, and to lock this uh, cover here around with a plastic thing, I mean, how bad can it be? So um, a friend of mine asked me if I could take a look at this, and um, I say, okay, that could be very interesting. It doesn't seem that the lens has been dropped at all but I mean it's uh, you can just you can just take it off hmm yeah and it's because I mean one one thing they have used glue to to uh, I mean put the lens I mean the the back cover here onto this plastic ring I mean most of the lenses looks like it is plastic hmm well and to lock it from uh, I mean it uh, this uh, little plastic thingy uh, which you maybe can see here on the back inside it has broken off and it has broken off here it's a tiny tiny uh, plastic thingy to lock it so it will prevent this uh, tube barrel uh, to actually move but when you turn on I mean <laughs> when you take off the lens well would you grab here or would you grab to the ring well in my opinion it looks uh, quite uh, logic uh, that you would stick to the ring here and then unmount the, the lens from the camera but it could be quite dangerous in my opinion because when you want to turn this ring and it's only glued into place and once they have put in a tiny plastic uh, well like a, a, a needle or something to put in and prevent it from moving well <laughs> in my opinion it's not that much so I found a solution which I think maybe it's uh, the best thing to do and um, because having this repaired somewhere hmm, might be quite expensive so I think okay I will um, take a little tiny screw and use that instead aha uh -huh. you think what about the red dot well uh, yeah yeah it's just a red dot so what I want to do I will uh, simply take this little pin plastic pin you can see it's tiny I mean there's not really much plastic to prevent this ring from coming off even if it's glued into place so I think this screw uh, solution it's much better and I also need to take that little, the rest of it, out. 
So I will also do that because uh, I mean it's already loose. So what can you miss? I mean it's already broken. So <laughs> what to do? Find a solution. So out with that. And you see, the thing is that the gap here, to me, looks like the gap here, uh, where the screw or the mean the plastic pin go through, is a little rubber thingy. But the screw I found is the right di diam <laughs> diameter. <laughs> uh, but since there is a flex cable down here, uh, I wouldn't like to destroy that. So I found uh, some. Uh, the solution is the very thick plastic tape, uh, which is used in, in electronic com uh, thingy, and simply put that on. So, and it's quite sticky. So I will take. Oh, come on. <laughs> so you see, put that in here. And um, I think I will use two layers just to make sure the screw will not go through into the flex cable. So um, I think it will it will be a very really good solution. And then of course I will use some glue to actually. Um, get the ring to stick onto the back here. And I think I will use some uh, of this No More Nails. It's a plastic thingy, which is good on plastic, actually, also. So uh, I think it will work, I mean, hopefully. So I'll just add this. Um, where do we have a spade kind of thingy? And it doesn't have to be much glue. I mean, um, I mean the the small amount of glue that is already on it is not that much. So it can always, I mean, it can always be better. You might think, okay, why not send it in for repair? Hmm. I think this will work fine. And in an hour or so, uh, it, it would be fully cured. But, um, so I think it, it, it uh, would work quite good. And you could still, by using some force, you can still uh, detach it from the from the plastic here. So I think it will work all fine. So doesn't have to be much, but since the glue will be spread when you press it in, press the barrel in. I think it will work all fine. So So, that's it. And um Now we can put this on and we have to align it correct. So I will move the zoom ring all the way over to to the where it cannot go any further. And then I can align my my barrel here, the back barrel. Put it on here. And then pop it in. 
that's all fine. And then I will uh, screw the screw into the barrel and we will go further into the what's inside the the little notch. So there. And that's it. It cannot move. So you can see it uh, is actually fits quite good to this. <laughs> now, maybe it's not the most uh, correct way of doing it, but it works. As I see it. So, uh, I mean, it's much better than this tiny little piece of plastic. Uh, because now the screw will prevent the the barrel here, the back barrel here, from moving out. And since it's also glued into place, well, I think it will work. So that's it. Um, <laughs> hope you can use the info here. The screw was something like uh, 1.8, uh, 1.5 millimeter or so. Um, maybe I should write it down here. So, <laughs> is One point five millimeter and around five millimeter long. Not more than that. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you uh, can use the info in this uh, and maybe fix it in your lens. Uh, I use this uh, No More Nails, which you probably can get in some uh, different hardware stores. Uh, no, I am not sponsored by any company. So that's, that's just get that clear. That's all for me. Bye bye.